Hello, my name is Todor Tanev and I'm a Systems and Network Administrator at Storpool. This is our brief overview of Storpool integration with OpenAvila Cloud Management Platform. Storpool is a distributed storage software that enables building and scaling your cloud infrastructure in a hyper-converged manner. The integration with OpenAvila is a great choice for small and medium service providers and cloud operators as it provides the ability to use the same servers and compute nodes without the need for dedicated SAN. You could find more about Storpool on our website at storpool.com. The add-on could be found on our page at GitHub. Installing the add-on takes few steps and is pretty straightforward. Installation notes could be found at the link in the description. After the add-on installation is completed, defining a new data store is as easy as getting in infrastructure, then data stores and selecting the plus button. First add a proper name for the new data store. New type store pool will be available from the preset drop-down menu. Select a cluster if you have one defined and leave the default images data store type. Later in the video we will talk a little more about system data store on top of store pool. The host bridge list field is for space separated list of the hypervisors. In this case this demo cluster has the same three servers that will also be used as storage nodes. Storepool replication stands for the number of copies replicated throughout the cluster for each disk image. Every write operation will be synchronously written with the selected replication. For virtual machine instance root disks or for mission critical data the recommended replication is triple or three full copies throughout the cluster. The place all and place tail parameters are the way to tell Storepool where to keep the different copies of the data. Proper placement groups will already be defined when your cluster has been designed and installed. In case of hybrid placement, Storepool will synchronously write one full copy of the data on SSDs and reset the redundant copies on hard drives. In case of triple replication, every write will be performed on one SSD and two hard drives on different nodes. Different data stores could be defined on a single set of disks and SSDs. This enables more refined utilization of the drive space in the cluster. The data stores are seen as defined templates in Storepool. These data stores are using the same underlying drives. This is why the free space visible here is similar for different data stores. Importing an image from the marketplace is as easy as selecting one and choosing some of the Storepool data stores that were set. The image is converted to RAW on the fly. Note that the particular image size is 10 GB though due to the zeros detection feature, the actual data written is less than 1 GB replicated throughout the cluster. After the import is completed, a new virtual machine could be created from this template. By default, OpenNebula creates non-persistent images for the virtual machines. Creating, for example, six virtual machines from this template would refer very little space in the cluster because only small part of their root disks are changed. An image could be cloned or even placed on different data store. Storepool takes care of placing the data on the proper disks. Migrating virtual machine throughout the cluster does not interfere any workloads running inside it, as seen in this example that includes heavy storage I/O operations. Creating even multiple snapshots on a virtual machine disk image would be instant and will not affect performance at all. The snapshots could be used to revert any changes afterwards. Even though not officially supported by OpenAvila, the Storepool add-on supports Trim. All operating systems that support Trim could be configured to exclude all deleted data from the underlying volumes as seen here. As of OpenNebula 4.14, it is now possible to create a system data store on top of Storepool. All virtual machines instantiated with this type of system data store will utilize Storepool storage. In this case, all context and volatile images will also utilize the space and performance of the Storepool cluster. If a node fails, all virtual machine disks with dual and triple replication are still available with the latest data. The virtual machines that were running on the failed node could be automatically started on other nodes from the cluster. In summary, here are the main benefits from using OpenAbil with Storepool. 
Due to the zero's detection trim and through the use of snapshots, extremely high space saving ratio could be achieved. Easy definition of new data stores provides a refined way to utilize the drive space in the cluster more efficiently. Neither snapshotting nor live migrations would affect the performance of the store pool cluster. If a node fails, all virtual machine disks would be still available with the latest data and could immediately be started on another node in the cluster. Adding nodes could be performed on the fly without any interruption and will increase both the capacity and the overall performance of the cluster. This concludes our overview. Please find more about StorePool on storepool.com.